Okay. It's because it had to go through a resolution change. That's fine. That means I'm not going to be able to... Deep in the forest of Albion together. lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? Yes, so now we She's have She's out playing by the Barrowfield's gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Oh, i tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay! So, we can actually play the game now. That's us. We're just a little runt right now, because, you know, in every game like this, you have to start off as a little runt. We can kick chickens, we can talk to people. Hi. I've lost Rosie! I left her, and I can't remember where. And I care why. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help! Learn to help yourself, you little runt. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Uh -huh. Okay, so, one gold piece for good deed. We find the bear, that's a good deed. Oh wait, hold on, let me do, change one thing real quick. Bow, bow. My middle mouse button doesn't work because it toggles between, um, Frictionless mouse and uh, having. Uh, Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Uh -huh. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister and it's her birthday. Yep. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. That seems to be the case, yes. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Whatever. Guaranteed to put a Guaranteed. smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I don't have any money. Maybe later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Man, look at that mustache. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Insanity. So, you've got a few options here at the beginning. You can, um... You know, you can perform good deeds and get the money from your father, or you can do other things. Oh. Huh? Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? Maybe. I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. You mean pee? Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Seems easy enough. Right, won't be long. But then along comes this little. My hunt. cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. That sounds like fun. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. You watch your mouth. Come on, run. let's go and break stuff. Yeah, breaking stuff sounds like a great idea. Bad deeds are great! Yeah! Smash him up! Smashy, smashy! And we get some experience points for killing beetles that are hidden inside. Oh no, we don't get experience at this point. Oh well. Come on, quick, quick! We gotta destroy all the barrels before he gets back. Time's almost out. 
And if you noticed, we found a gold piece in one of the barrels. Aha, so now I didn't do nothing. Excellent, thanks lad. You've done me a big favor. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. That's right, this guy is that stupid. So, you, I mean, you might as well smash him up. You know what I mean? You, you, there's, you're gonna get the, a good deed point for it either way. You're gonna get a gold for it either way. Why get not get two gold? Oh, now we got two guys here. I want more pocket money next week. It's your story. Get him off me! Please help! Mm. He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. Like I do. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Maybe. Why would I want to? What about you? What's your story? What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Oh, he is the bear. No, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. Hey, I like the sound of that. I told him, if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Oh, I'll do it for you. Give me the bear. This boy was being nasty to me, and now you're hitting me too. My oversized gloves Emily told me to do it. Emily just wanted to play with Rosie. I don't know what I've done. Someone tell me what I've done. Just take Rosie if it means you'll leave me alone. You've been weak and pathetic, that's what. I've got a bear now. So, if I wanted to, you I could take it back to the little idiots. girl. Or... I want more pocket money next week. Nice work! Now I'll give you half his pocket money if you let me have her. That sounds like a deal to me. Cheers. Wah! Shut up before I beat you some more. Thanks. You and I got a lot in common. Here, take his money as a reward for returning her to me. Heck yeah. Now, Rosie, what game shall we play? Huh? Teddy no legs? What about burning fur? I always play French Revolution. Baby toys and little girls. Okay. So what else we got? Look, there's a little swine. I'm going after him. Honestly, where's oh, that good for nothing? Where's that filthy layabout husband of, the of mine? Again. They're kind of wonky. <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. Oh. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, Money, let me probably. know, won't you? Um, maybe. Right. Got you, you little ruffian. What? I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Maybe. Destruction of a person's vendables. Oh, you mean the barrels. Violent conduct towards a person or persons without God's permission. I need a permission to beat somebody up. Giving of a teddy bear to a person likely to rip off its head. That one's just funny. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. Would I know? You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. Absolutely. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. Honestly. Oh, yeah? What the blazes do you think you're doing? I'm a town guard. I'm not the sort you want to be hitting. Unless you want to spend a night in the barracks. Now. Get out of my sight! I'd rather not. I'd rather hit you again. What the blazes do you think you're doing? I'm a town yeah, unless he just says you want to get out. But beating people up, beating them up is fun. Found your bear. I think something terrible has happened to Rosie. I think you're right. So we've got another green dot. What could it be? Notice on the mini map up there. How do I make it bigger? Yeah. Yeah. What if your wife finds us? Don't worry about my wife. I left her doing the laundry. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, know. keep your mouth shut about this, right? Really? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Yes. Tell you what. If you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Hey, that's enough for the chocolates. Yeah. Good lad. Here, have this gold piece. My advice to you, don't get tied down to one woman. Look after yourself. 
Forget everyone else. Damn straight. Oh, call me am I So, that's the three gold games. pieces we need. However... Mm. We can well, rat on him anyway! There's a little swine on What? You again? Yeah, me again. What up? I'm hearing of your mischief rather regularly. Shall we remind ourselves? Sure. Destruction of a person's vendables. Uh -huh. Violent conduct towards know. a giving of a teddy bear to a person likely to rip off its head. That one's still funny. Accessory to improper man and lady behavior. Since when is that illegal? Do you realize the trouble you'd be in if you weren't such a little un? No. Now go and keep yourself out of trouble. Well, I've run out of bad you deeds to do, so okay. Sword? Guess who I found? Oh, no, damn it. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. Money. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Yes. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. I don't wanna miss Thank this. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Hey, as dude told me, look out for no one but Wait, yourself. I don't know the difference between right and wrong. Uh, I tried to kick, kick the chicken there. Let's roll. Yo, filthy swine! I ought and to she takes off. Right off. Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! Yeah, she was. We were rehearsing a play. Yeah, that's all it Anyways. Well, if you think I did perform some good deeds, so guess what, Dad? You're obligated to pay me. Mm, I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. <laughs> but if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Uh -huh. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. No. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Yes. And he's annoying as all get out. I wonder what happens if you punch him. Let's find out. I'm not sure that's a nice way to treat a stranger. Is that all you say? I'm not sure that's a nice way to treat. A yeah, I figured. Ooh, you're lucky. I'll <laughs> Here comes, comes the guard the again. <laughs> quickly, give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Yes, quickly! My God, time is of the essence. What will we ever do? Yes, buy the three golden coins. Three Young sweets. sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? No, I refuse. Only reason I'm doing it is because the game won't what? progress unless you I do. You again? Yeah, me again. I'm hearing of your destruction, violent conduct, giving of a teddy bear okay, to it's not a accessory to him. Do you realize? Now go. Yeah, shut up, guard. Chicken. I kick it to chicken. I kick it to chicken. <laughs> You can't kick him very far at this age. What a strange little boy he is. I wonder what happens... I wonder if you can eat the chocolates now and break the game. I've never tried that. Nope. You have to give him away. Okay, well... Ah, the water usually looks a lot better than that. Weird. Alright, well, no matter. Hey sis, I got a present for you. Hello, little brother. Hi. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. Nah, Dad reminded I'm me. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Give her the chocolates so that we can get the hell out of the game this intro thing. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Yeah. Come what? on. Let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. All right. Well, we're going to end it there. Um, this is either going to be, this is either episode two or episode three, depending on if I can get the intro and this episode stuck together or not. So this has been your Funky Uncle with Let's Play Fable The Lost Chapters. Stay tuned for whatever, whichever number is next, either two or three, and I hope you'll see me next time.